Hello, everybody. Uh, I want to welcome you to this chat. Uh, my name is Jesse Lee. I'm the online programs director here at the White House. I really want to thank uh, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius and Director of the Office of Health Reform, Nancy Ann DeParle, for uh, taking some time to join us today. One thing I, I'll note is uh, Secretary Sebelius just came this morning from a meeting with the insurance company leaders. I think it's important for us to ask companies that filed uh, $12.7 billion profit statements for 2009, 50 percent more profit than they had in 2008, and then pivot and immediately tell some of their customers that they're going to have alarming rate increases, uh, to ask them to come in and justify it. So today's meeting was a good discussion. The president uh, joined us for a portion of time, shared with the CEOs. Today's meeting uh, was a step in the direction, but clearly it, it pointed out once again how desperately we need comprehensive reform, a new marketplace, and a new set of rules for insurance companies so they can no longer segregate people on the basis of who's been sick and who hasn't. Christine Buckland, Mueller, uh, why can't we have a plan identical to senators and representatives? That would be true health reform. Well, actually, that's exactly where we're headed. Um, in the new exchange, uh, we're talking about companies that, um, among others, currently deliver benefits in the Federal Employee Benefit Plan. We're talking about a marketplace where you'll be able to pick and choose the exact same way members of Congress get to pick and choose. So we've heard those calls uh, across this country. I went to a lot of town halls this summer. I've gotten letters. I've talked to folks, and they keep saying, if it's good enough for us, why isn't good enough for members of Congress? And it's exactly what the president feels should happen, the kind of marketplace, the kind of choices exactly that members of Congress now pick and choose from. I, I think we'll go with one last question. We'll let you guys both go, go back to work. Um, uh, it might be quick. Uh, Michael G. Glasser uh, seems to be challenging us, uh, claiming I, I, I'm not willing to ask this question. Uh, why is this administration afraid to address ending the antitrust exemption? Oh. <laughs> we supported it. We strongly yeah. supported the bill that passed the House overwhelmingly. Uh, overwhelmingly last week. It was a bipartisan, more than 400 votes cast in favor of it, and we strongly supported it. And I hope the Senate does the same thing, and so does the President. The President is very strongly in favor of it. All right, well, Michael Glasser, I, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Michael, write to your senators. That was one of the easier questions we got. <laughs> um, all right, well, thanks again so, uh, for, for coming. We, this won't be the end of our engagement with uh, everybody out there in the public on this bill, but uh, I, I think this is very informative. Thanks again, Nancy Ann. Thanks again, Kathleen. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time.